create a free online store with canva hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating your own free online store using canva and that is you can actually build your online store using canva you don't necessarily have to opt for a third-party tool or a e-commerce builder Canva has all the basics that you would need to be able to build your e-commerce store. So let's get started with building our own e-commerce store using Canva. Now, the first step to building our own e-commerce store is going to be to first build a website. To do this, we're simply going to go into Canva. I have logged on to my account. And once you do that, you can just search for a website. Now, you can use a blank canvas, but I do want to use a template to make this easier for us to design. So I'm going to take a look at some templates and this one looks pretty decent. I'm gonna scroll down. No, it's a bit too complicated. I want a really simple website template so I can easily display to you guys how to sell products. We have this Beauty Co. This looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna click on customize template and we can get started with customizations. So for my customizations, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to firstly add my own logo. We're just going to select a logo PNG. We can drag and drop our logo here like so, and it's being uploaded on the left. And we have different product categories added, customer reviews and a contact page. So I'm going to remove this title page and I'm just going to add my own logo instead, which is Vesa Steves. We're just going to zoom in a little when we're designing so it's easier for us. And I'm just going to place it at the center. I'm going to use this as more so of a header section. And then we're going to just keep the subtext as it is and zoom out and we're going to be discussing customizations later. But first, we're going to scroll down and you guys can see we have this product category page. Now, whatever product you're selling, you're going to add them on Canva as they are. Just upload their images and their price or you can do this via adding your product cards over here. So personally, I do like to add a stylized version of my products within my Canva website. I'm going to delete these images and I'm going to add buy the best. And after that, I'm going to add my highlight product. So let's say one of our really nice products and I'm just going to upload some files for that. So again, we're just going to be using our own product photos and let's say it's going to be our nude lipstick. We're just going to upload this and we're going to add a caption which might say the perfect nude. I'm going to place it over here. Now I want to sell this product and you might say, hey, how can I add e-commerce functionality in Canva? Well, you're not actually going to be using Canva for the e-commerce functionality. Instead, you can be using another tool for that. And that tool is, again, a really simple to use, simple and easy to use tool. And you're simply going to go into Stripe. Now, you probably have already heard of Stripe and you've probably used Stripe as well. Stripe can serve as a really simple gateway for you to be able to enable e-commerce payments on your website uh, without having to go through the hassle of extremely expensive third-party integrations or having to deal with multiple different suppliers and having to build your own hosting your own domain instead you can just use canva for your website and then stripe for selling you're going to go into stripe and you're going to create a business account and then you're going to add your product so you're going to click on product catalog click on create product and add the product. Let's say this is our nude lipstick and then we're going to upload the image of our product. So I'm just going to open that up. Once we do that, we're going to add the type of product this is. So this is going to be a one-off purchase and let's say it's $10. Then I'm just going to click on add product. Once we have our product created, we can click on the product over here, click on edit product to add any other product information. And once completed, you can simply click on your product. And then below that, you even have cross-selling features logs. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this product as a payment link. 
So click on payment links on the left. If it's not added in your shortcuts, you can click on payments and add payment links from there. Click on new. Once you click on new, you're going to select your products. We're going to select our nude lipstick and I'm going to let customers adjust the quantity. And after that, I can also add recommended products in my checkout, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to simply click on create link. Once I click on create link, I will have a buy button. So I can click on the buy button and I can copy this code. Then you're going to go back into Canva and go into apps on the left. Once you do that, you're going to search for code and um, we're just going to add that and we're going to search for embed instead. Click on this embed and you can embed any web page link, but I'm just going to check if we can add it or if we're going to have to do a code embed instead. So I'm going to wait for this. And ideally you want to go for code embed. For some reason, the code embed applications are not showing up, but I can just click on code embed. Yeah, we have code image, code to image, code format. I'm going to copy this and you have two types of payment buttons you can create. You can create a card payment button or just a simple button or the simplest way is to simply go back. We're going to exit this, copy this code. Okay. Go in over here and we're going to build a button using Canva. You can go into elements, search for a button, and you will have different graphics, which you can use to make your button look interesting. I'm going to go with something really basic. I don't want too, too much flashiness. And then on top of this, I can enter my text. And I'm going to enter some buy now text, buy now. I'm going to place it over here. Then I'm going to click on the text, click on the top three dots. And then I'm going to click on link and I'm going to paste that link from Stripe. Click on done and I'm going to remove the underline. And I'm going to click on the shape of the button. Once I click on the shape of the button, I'm going to follow the same steps and link my Stripe code click on done. Once I've done that, I can group these together. And now if I click on publish website, I have my website ready to publish. And if someone clicks on the buy now button, they would be led directly to my one page checkout via my Stripe account. So here we have our website that is ready. And in our ready website, we can scroll down, click on buy now, and this opens up my Stripe payment gateway. So just like that, you can get started with building your own e-commerce store using Stripe. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. Also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.